Hi my beautiful Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your October the 16th until the 23rd Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome and those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. So I have two messages for you guys today. Uh, for those of you guys who weren't able to do the special last week, I have um, you guys have asked me to extend it, so I've extended it until the 23rd. So if you purchase a 15-minute personal reading that is pre-recorded, you will get it within a 24-hour time span between now and the 23rd. And for those of you guys that are subscribed at the end of the month, you can look out because I will be choosing one of you guys to give a free reading to. All right, so let me start with your tarot and go into your oracles. So show me what Aquarius needs to see from the 16th to the 23rd. Any messages for Aquarius, please? You guys came out in Capricorn and Pisces. You came out, like, so much in Pisces. So if you're dealing with the Pisces, 100%, check out their reading. Um, Ace of Swords, Clarity, Victory. Could be Clarity with a, another air sign. The Two of Cups. Let's see what else we can get. Page of Pentacles. Whoa. Karma. Page of Cups. Wow. Oh, wait. I'm going to show you guys them all at the end. Sorry. Nine of Swords. Okay. So we have the Two of Cups after the Ace of Swords. The Page of Pentacles, Karma, Nine of Swords. It looks like a relationship is finally about to get off the ground after a very, very, you know, long, long time of being patient and probably dealing with a lot of ups and downs here. You are going to be getting clarity of, about uh, the way somebody feels towards you. Somebody is finally going to be expressing themselves here. King of Cups could be a Scorpio person. Um, could definitely be a water sign. There's lots of water here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have Strength, Leo energy. The High Priestess. And the Seven of Cups. This could have been a situation where there was many options. It looks like somebody is definitely going to make a choice. Bottom of the deck, we have the hangman. There could have definitely been a lot of delays within this choice being made here. So I am sensing here. Clarity is coming in for you this week. You are going to be getting clarity and success within something that has been on your mind for a very long time. With the two of cups next to it, it's for some of you this is a water sign, others of you this could be anybody, but there is somebody that you feel like you have a divine connection with that you guys haven't expressed this. So I feel like that's where this Nine of Swords energy is, where you're feeling very anxious, you're feeling very wrapped in your head. Uh, some of you having sleepless nights, just trying to figure out what this connection is. Some of you are thinking, you know, what if this is all in my head kind of energy here. Um, so with the Two of Cups going into the Page of Pentacles, so this is about clarity regarding a connection and a new beginning for this connection. There is a new beginning. There is somebody offering you something stable here. This is just a page, right? You do have the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is you having to make a choice because you have an earth and a, a, a water sign coming towards you. But there is somebody that there is a divine counterpart with that is offering you something stable. I definitely sense that this is somebody that, you know, you have... Some of you, this is somebody that you've already dealt with in the past. You guys had a karmic cycle together. Others of you, this could definitely be your twin flame here. I am sensing with um, the Page of Cups that this could really be somebody that you have already experienced a romantic connection with. But for others of you, this is somebody new coming in. Um, I'm sensing that, you know, you have been very, very up in your head about this person, about the situation, because of the fact that this is somebody that really, you know, they like to stay in control. And by staying in control, they like to keep their feelings to themselves. Once they express their feelings, they automatically give you a lot of control. And this person isn't that type of person to do that. They like to stay in control. This person could be pretty controlling, but when it comes to, you know, being equal about that, you know, like they could ask you what you're doing all the time, but when you ask them, it's like they completely ignore you. Um, but this is, you know, you just feeling very anxious because somebody wasn't expressing themselves with strength here. It's like you're going to be giving them the courage to speak up to, you know, um, 
tell you how they feel. This is them, you know, needing to have that emotional strength to speak up, to speak of how they feel. You do make this person feel comfortable. I definitely sense that they're starting to become more vulnerable vulnerable around you. They are starting to see you as somebody that they can trust and open up towards. And I feel like your patience had has a lot to do with this here. With the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups, this is about a choice. For some of you, this is a choice that is hidden. So either you don't know that this person has options or they don't know that you have options here. But somebody has options and it is hidden. This could be the reason for the delay because there is a delay. But this delay is karmically... Um, you know, this delay is for a reason. This delay is necessary um, for you to see more about this person and for them to see more about you before you guys make a decision here. So I have Sagittarius energy, I have Scorpio energy, um, Leo energy, Taurus and, or sorry, Taurus and Libra here. I'm going to pull you guys some clarifiers. So let's clarify this Ace of Swords here. All right, so the Ace of Swords is clarified with, wow, the lovers, you guys. Um, so intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini here. Gemini got the Page of Cups as well, too. So um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, especially if this is somebody from your past. But I am sensing here that with Ace of Swords and the lovers, it's clarity on a choice. So there is a choice that is going to be made this week. Um, you and this person here and it's the two of you guys choosing each other the one that you feel the most connected to or this is saying that your person feels the most connected to you out of their options here so clarity on you know what this connection is realizing this some some of you your person is having an awakening and finally getting to the point where you are or you're doing that it's like somebody already knows that the two of you guys are going to be together whether that's you or your person and the other one is finally about to you know wake up and realize the same thing all right so clarify the lovers or sorry clarify the two of cups please clarify the two of cups so the two of cups with the four of fire and strength so four of fire, contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project and strength, great inner strength, release harsh judgment, forgive and forgiveness and compassion. So for some of you, this is, you know, um, an energy of somebody that is definitely coming back from the past here with the number 11. This could definitely be a twin flame or a soulmate with the four of fire here. This is, you know, the energy of the two of you guys. Um, celebrating this is an abundant energy this is engagement energy this is the energy of celebrating baby showers um, engagement parties birthdays for some of you so you guys are going to be finding balance within this relationship and coming into a divine union here that's beautiful the two of um, cups clarified by the you know the four of wands gorgeous energy all right clarified the page of pentacles All right, so the Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Earth. So a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So this offer that starts off as a page is going to lead to fulfillment. This is going to lead to something long-term. This is going to lead to something abundant. You know, if you're interested in marriage, family, having kids here, that's what I see. Um, it's really beautiful. From the two to the four, you know, and then the page to the ten. So this new opportunity, this beginning of expression you know, and being vulnerable is going to lead to something stable in both scenarios here. So whether water or earth sign. Or if there's two people, this could be saying that either way. Clarify karma. All right, so karma is clarified with the emperor, organization, and logic, structure, and discipline, leadership. I'm sensing there's this energy of you and this person really mirroring each other. We have the three of air, great sadness. Um, take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others here. So this is the energy of a heartbreak and betrayal here. Some of you could have been feeling left out because somebody was really focused on work and not focusing enough on you here. Or somebody wasn't able to balance out you know, the situation within their life. They weren't able to find balance in order to move towards you here. So you definitely saw you know, an uglier side of somebody here because of the fact that they weren't stable. Clarify the Page of Cups. All 
All right, so we have the Page of Cups with the Two of Water here. So, like I said, either way, it's coming. The Page of Cups leading to the Two of Cups. So you have the Two of Cups as your highest energy here. The Two of Cups, a relationship that continues to go closer. Forgiveness, a positive resolution, or sorry, resolution of conflict. So if there was conflict with this person in the past, absolutely, it's going to be resolved. Like I said, you're getting clarity. And if you need clarity, it's because you were unclear about the situation, unclear about feelings. And that's what you're finally getting. And because of that, both of you are going to be evolving. You're getting this because you're both ready to evolve into the next level here. So absolutely beautiful. Definitely moving forward in this. Clarify the Nine of Swords. With the Nine of Air. So expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. So you literally got the, the same card clarifying. So this is pretty much just a double energy of the fact that, you know, you're wrapped up in your head about the situation and you need to really, you know, I would say maybe meditate, get out of your head, you know, let the answer come towards you because if you're overthinking and you're causing yourself all this anxiety and all this stress, how are you going to function properly, right? All right, clarify the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is clarified with the Two of Air being unable or willing to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So, you know, what was hidden here within this is that somebody was pretending like there was no problem, and this could have definitely been the one that was holding back here, pretending like everything was fine, wondering, you know, why it is that, you know, clarity is needed in the first place or why it is that you know they're coming around it's like this person thinks everything's fine or thought everything was fine while you were going through a lot of you know anxiety and it's maybe because you didn't tell them and um so with the seven of cups we have the high priestess again so high priestess and the nine of swords and the two of cups are the highest energies here so with the seven of cups clarified by the high priestess we have listen to your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting which is why you know like i said the delay is so that you can choose what you actually want and really get to know this person before taking a step and then competing goals bothersome details and conflict with others so this is pretty much saying that they were having problems you know fighting their intuition towards whether they should take a chance or not and now i feel like they have you know gained a trust within themselves within their you know they feel like they can trust their intuition and that's why they are going to be making a choice here but before what was hidden was that they had inner conflicts here and they had conflicts within things that they were dealing with somebody that just if they're dealing with things they they only like people to see the good side so if they're dealing with something stressful they feel like they're going to be burdening you or burdening anybody in their lives if they have to tell the tell those people so they just deal with the things that they're dealing with on their own all right, so if you're, I have Leo, um, I have Leo, Gemini, Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio. All right, so if you're dealing with the Libra, so if you're dealing with the Libra, we have Judgment and the High Priestess. So there could have been a secret in the past, and it looks like one of you guys is going to be making a judgment call. Um, on whether or not you're moving forward or whether you're not or whether you are going to be um, Working on this, but we also have the ace of swords and it was clarified clarifying the ace of swords with the ace of swords anyways, right? So the clarity will help you decide it's like you're almost not gonna know until you get this clarity What's gonna happen with this person because it's just gonna be this intuitive nudge that you're gonna know once you get this clarity and For a lot of you you're gonna be putting in the work within this relationship If you're dealing with Scorpio, I also have Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, it looks like the you know it looks like an ending here. You're going to be choosing yourself. We have the ten of, uh, sorry, the nine and the ten of swords with the nine of cups here. So it's like this is a situation that caused a lot of anxiety, a lot of burdens. There was a lot of struggle here. You could have been betrayed by this person, and it's like you're realizing if they always choose himself, then why shouldn't you? So you're going to be focusing on yourself, self fulfillment. Enjoying, you know, your single life, enjoying being independent. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius,
you're dealing with the Sag, the Ten of Pentacles, the delays are, you know, in order for this foundation to be built stably, this is definitely a slow moving person. You're going to have to be very patient, but in the end, you are going to get what it is that you want. And I think you know that. If you're dealing with a Gemini, You're dealing with the Gemini, the Page of Cups. It looks like this person is, you know, very anxious about whether or not to come towards you, but it does, I do sense they are going to be coming towards you here. They're going to be very nervous here. They may stumble with their words a little bit, but they will get their point across here. Somebody that is very, very genuine. If you're dealing with an Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, we have the Three of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords. It looks like you're going to be healing from this Aries and um, not really focusing on them here. It's like you're really just going to be in this energy of cutting them off and you may be a little bit cold towards them if they come towards you here, but you're really just focused on healing and being a little bit defensive and guarded towards them based on what they've done or how they treated you. If you're dealing with a Libra. You're dealing with the Libra, the Nine of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles, it looks like there's going to be um, a brand new start here, or this is something that is going to lead to a lot of abundance here. You're going to be feeling financially abundant, they're going to be feeling financially abundant, and you guys bring each other a lot of abundance. And uh, for some of you, this could mean choosing yourself and deciding to have an, and getting a new opportunity after choosing yourself. And if you're dealing with a Taurus... If you're dealing with a Taurus, it looks like things are going to be a lot more balanced out around December here, but you're going to have to wait for December for things to take a huge turn, but there's going to be a huge turn within this, especially if there were two people involved. Um, definitely, there's just going to be one here. All right, so that is what I have for you guys. Let me pull you guys some Oracle cards. And I don't know if I already said, but you guys were in the Capricorn and Pisces. Yeah, I did, because I said you were in Pisces a lot. So all that glitter. So this is a card to remember that everything that is glitter is not gold, right? So there are going to be, you know, people presented to you that are not going to... Um, that are going to be presenting themselves to you in a certain way and you're going to have to really make sure that you don't have rose colored glasses on this month just really pay attention to that and we have why with observer here and this is about you observing because you're going to start realizing you're really going to piece together these clues if you really have your eyes open you will notice things about people and it's like with this why energy it's like you're trying to pick pick apart what uh, somebody is saying to you so definitely you know observe your surroundings and really make sure that you know as all of these wonderful things are coming into you that you're really making sure that you know what you're getting yourself into this is like a read the fine fine print kind of energy and exchanging gifts this is making sure that you are putting out the energy that you want to attract right it's a give and take with the universe here what you give you're going to be getting back tenfold this um this week so very beautiful energy you guys i hope that this resonates if it doesn't you would like a personal my website is in the description box below if you haven't already subscribed and you would like to feel free to i love you guys so much and i'll see you next week